Now, as we know, because of this Ukraine war, the world is having to turn to more reliable and secure sources of base load power. Although the transition away from fossil fuels was already causing dramas right across Europe, right across the UK, which is why Europe got so far into bed, especially Germany, with Russia. Renewables, I'm sorry, still can't cut it. The fact that the major nations of the Western world are about to rely further on nuclear power too, and Australian politicians can't even utter the N-word, says a lot about our international immaturity and our inability to consider changes in technology when it comes to energy. Well, thankfully, support for modular nuclear reactors, which I've spoken about a hundred times from the various shows on this channel, has come from a most unlikely source, the Australian Union movement. The CFMEU, the Mining and Energy Union, has proposed replacing coal-fired power stations in Victoria's Latrobe Valley with small modular nuclear reactors, which it claims would create 810 direct jobs and 1,600 construction jobs over a decade. I'm joined now by the CFMEU Victorian Branch Secretary, Jeff Dyke. Jeff, thank you very much for your time. The Latrobe Valley, Jeff, has experienced 2,600 job losses from the closure of those two coal-fired power stations. Could embracing nuclear power mitigate that? Look, um, there's almost um, twice as many jobs in a nuclear plant as there is in a coal plant. Um, as we know, they're you know, good jobs, well-paid jobs and um, long-lasting. You know, nuclear power plants run for 60 years. Um, we've looked at the skills. Most of the skills are the same. There's a few specialist skills in um, nuclear operators and stuff like that, but all the maintenance workers, um, engineering, um, chemists, um, water chemists and um, other So unlike stuff, this like... rubbish that we keep getting fed about how you can retrain coal-fired power station workers to become uh, workers in the renewable industry, which can't happen, you and I know that, it can be done when it comes to coal-fired to nuclear. Yeah, that's correct. And the thing with the coal stations is all the assets are here. We've got the 500,000-volt transmission lines. We've got heavy transport routes from Melbourne. We've got cooling water dams and plentiful cooling water supply. Um, we've got a skilled workforce and we've got all the resources that we need to um, build a nuclear power plant. And as so you're you know, suggesting small... a repurposing of those two sites with modular nuclear reactors? Yeah, that's correct. And modular nuclear reactors are more ideal for the Australian grid because they're not as big as the... Um, the traditional large ones, which um, if you lose one out of the grid, it causes instability if too big a load a generation is lost at once. Um, so the smaller reactors are more suited to Australia. And the other thing, they're a lot safer because um, they're not retaining as much heat. Um, and I hear a lot of talk about that it's unproven technology. Well, what I say to that is, They've been powering submarines, icebreakers and aircraft carriers for decades. Yes, they sure have. Now, your mate, Albo, who I'm sure you're hoping will get into power come May, I don't know whether he'll even listen to your argument because back in October last year, I had him in the studio and we spoke about nuclear uh, reactors, the modular variety and whether he'd done his homework on it. Well, have a listen to what he said. We actually enable people to benefit from solar panels on roofs through community... And you batteries. won't consider nuclear? And No. And Why a, not? A, because it doesn't stack up. No, it does. Ten European, it stack up. Ten European nations got together and produced a statement this year that said... Sorry, this month that said it's not only reliable, it's independent, it's stable and it's affordable. Modular nuclear reactors. And here in Australia, here in Australia, renewable energy is the cheapest form of new energy... But it's not reliable, is it, Jeff? Well, it's not cheap either because, um, you know, there's a lot of additional costs um, with renewables, like they're having to upgrade transmission lines that cost billions of dollars. Um, if you have a look at Snowy Hydro 2 pumped um, hydro storage, it's um, $5 billion for the pump storage and another $5 billion for the transmission line. The transmission line... Um, from South Australia to New South Wales is um, being put in at a cost of three and a half billion. Um, someone's got to pay for all that. 
Um, the other thing wind and solar don't do, they don't provide any synchronous inertia. So South Australia's had to throw um, in money about $260 million to put in synchronous condensers. Um, if, you know, if you look at the total cost of renewables, the total cost of renewables is far in excess of um, coal or nuclear. Are you intending on getting into the ears of some of your colleagues in the Labor Party who may actually win government in May? Um, I've tried. <laughs> um, and I'll be honest, there hasn't been a lot of success there. Um, and, you know, I'm a bit bipartisan. I actually uh, wrote to the Prime Minister and asked for some funding for a feasibility um, study to replace the Latrobe Valley power stations with either combined cycle gas or nuclear and comparing the um, the cost, the um, price of electricity consumers and the social benefit for the Latrobe Valley, but unfortunately it didn't get funded. So he refused <clears throat> to fund it? He sent a letter back to you? Uh, he hasn't sent me a letter, but I've just got verbal word just the other day, um, probably a couple of days ago. Well, he said a couple of months ago that he was open to watching the development of modular nuclear reactors in overseas locations and maybe to consider it here for Australia. So I don't know why you wouldn't even consider what you, was, what you were doing because what you were doing is the obvious next step. Jeff Dyke, we won't leave it there. We'll come back to you and talk to you again, no doubt. Keep at it and thank you very much for your time.